we have the 2014, the current Toyota um, Tundra here. Um, we're going to show you how to put the grill guard on. Um, this bracket, just the bottom bracket here, the side that's got the um, face plate is going to go to the outside like that. The hollow part will go to the inside. We've already put one bracket on to kind of show you how they go on there. Um, when you very first, we're going to show you the bolts here in just a second. The very first bolt that we're going to put in, we're going to put both bolts in, but you're only going to snug one. When we put the grill guard up there and tighten that, that allows that to align this way. It helps you get it square underneath. And then you can tighten both of them after the grill guard's hung. Um, but again, like I say, the, the flat side of the bracket goes to the outside of the vehicle. This is going to be your upper bracket. Whenever you're putting it in there, we're going to show you the bolt on that one too. The hole goes is offset to one side. That's going to go, the side the hole is offset to is going to go to the frame. This is going to stick outside the frame. We're going to show you where that bolt is. Um, this bracket here is going to go through this little spot. We've already notched it out. On the other side, you can see where um, the plastic is still intact. We haven't notched it, so you can see what it's going to look like. We're going to slit. We chose to go to the end of that little rib right there. We're, you're going to see the bracket doesn't go all that way. We just chose. We thought that looked the best, and we're going to have to cut that out. As you see on the other side, we cut that little rib out, and we just made one little slot right there. Your bracket's going to go in there as, as such. It's going to go to the top bolt. There's three bolts in line with each other on the frame where that crash bar attaches. You're going to take the top nut off, the, off and then that's going to go on there. You're going to put the nut back on. But that's how that's going to sit right there. That's how we chose, I don't know, we, we just chose the end at the end, right there, that little rib. You can do it however you want. That's how we did it. Um, now we're going to go up underneath there and we'll show you which bolts to take loose for that bracket and your bottom bracket. The cameraman's going to try to get up underneath there and show you where it is. And I'm going to try to show you with my fingers which bolts it is. This is the tow hook right here that you're going to remove. You're going to remove these two bolts, and that's what your bottom big old bracket's going to go to, okay? And like I say, again, when you first put it on, just tighten one bolt, and that way the bracket can twist when you put the grill card on, it'll help you line it up. Or you can put a level across the two brackets and make sure that they're square with each other. You can do it either way, and then you can tighten the bolts. That's up to you. There's three bolts right up here that you can see on the outside of the frame. The top one, that nut's already loose. You can kind of see that nut backed off on it. That's the one that that top bracket's going to go to. So that's the only one you need to loose, loosen, and then that's where that top bracket's going to go. And you can, we're going to put it on there lightly. Do not um, tighten it down until you get the grill guard up there, and then you're going to put that strap to the grill guard. You can put the bolt to the grill guard and the strap, and then you can get up underneath there and tighten that. We'll show you how to do that. So we're going to come back out, and that, and we're going to put that other bracket, bottom bracket in, and we're going to go ahead and notch. Like I said, we used a, what we used is a razor blade. I just used a regular old razor blade to slit that. I slid it here, back down, and then I slid it back over. If you wanted to go ahead and pre-tighten the um, brackets up there and just do an exact cut, strictly up to you. We just thought it looked just as good. Just to go ahead and cut that out. And that's what we're going to do now, and we're going to mount our brackets, and then we're going to, um, to the point that we've already explained, and then we're going to show you how to hang the guard and get her all situated. We got the brackets tight at the bottom. We did say to just go ahead and tighten one, and then you can rotate them once you got the guard mounted, but we're going to show you another little trick, too. This one, with two bolts in there, only doing one, you can sit there and pivot that thing, but that's what you want to do at first. If you put a level up there, you can make sure that these these plates are square. You know, if they were in, you'd see a gap right there. So what we did is we, we pivoted them around until it was flat all the way across from bracket to bracket. Then we went ahead and tightened the other bolts. So these bolt brackets are tight right there. So you can do it either way. You can just tighten one, and once you get it bolted to the guard, they'll square themselves up. Then you can finish tightening them, or you can do it this way and just get it out of the way. And that's what we did right here. So these bolts, these brackets are tight. Um, the top ones here are loose right now. Um, we're not going to do them until we get them connected to the guard. We just got them loose. Um, these bottom brackets mount to these plates on the guard, okay? And these top brackets right that you have on there, they're loose, are going to mount to this tab. 
and what, we mount them to these bottom brackets first, that way you can get everything aligned, and then you're gonna put that other strap bracket to here and drop the bolt in. It's an upper stabilizer bar, so we're, we're, that's the last one that you attach, so that's why we left those loose. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get a couple guys to help us um, hang this thing, and we'll go ahead and show you how to hang the guard and align it and tighten everything up. We got somebody in here to help us hang this guard. We went ahead and lined everything up and tightened it. We'll show you how we did that. Um, remember again, we hung it by the bottom shoes down here first. We got everything aligned. These brackets here, the brackets actually goes on top of the tab that's actually on the um, go guard itself. Remember that bracket was loose before you mounted the bottom. Go ahead and get your bottom mounted and aligned up real good. What we usually do is back up. You get right in the center, you can line up the emblem of the truck with the rear view mirror and make sure you're in the center. You get down and eyeball and make sure these loops are the same level on the fender wells is what I always go by from side to side. That's how you get it right up and down from side to side. Always take a tape measure, make sure you just hit the light in the same spot. You can bump the light and measure the inside or the outside of the loop, go down it, make sure it's the same. That's how you get it from side to side. Um, we had a jack underneath here that will also help support us. Um, put a jack up underneath here to lift it and it'll help you get it up and down. Um, just keep it the right height. Once you've got it side to side up, up and down and all that, and you tighten the two bottom bolts on the shoes, what we call the shoes on each side. Tighten them up good, and then you can tighten these top strap brackets right here, okay? Um, we, we supply a half by one and three quarter um, half inch bolts um, up underneath on the tow hook, we did not mention earlier, those are 18 millimeter bolts that go, that you take the tow hook off and put our bracket on, you do reuse the factory bolts on those, 18 millimeters on those. The bracket that we, um, the bolt that we went to with this top bracket, the top bolt on, on, the, on that frame was a 14 millimeter wrench is what we used on there. They are tight, they got a lot tight on there, so you'll have to work with it. Once you put it back on, it's not bad, um, but it is hard to get off because they're locked tight on there. Um, we've got everything tight. Just make sure once you tighten this bracket that you do go back up underneath. Remember that bracket was loose. You need to go back up underneath there with a 14 millimeter wrench and tighten that bolt, that top bolt that was um, loosened or nut taken off and put that bracket on. Uh, once you get done with that, you are done with your 2014-2015 um, girl guard on your Toyota. Hope you enjoy.